Kelly Freeman Craig. You're the writer and director of Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret, an adaptation of Judy Bloom's famous book. Uh, now, you actually reached out to Bloom directly to try to get the rights. Uh, what made you decide to connect with her that way? You know, um, uh, well, first of all, I mean, it was the only way I knew how to, you know, it, it was it was my my way of just like making that long shot. And um, uh, I basically I had I started to reread all of her books right after I, I had made my first film, The Edge of 17, and I was thinking about what to do next. And I started to think about the authors who had most impacted me. And she was literally number one on that list. I mean, in, in in so many ways, she's the person who turned me into a reader and a and a writer. And um, so I started to reread her books. And when I got to Margaret, I just was like so swept away. And particularly the last page, just like I was just bawling. I was just like walking around my house trying to figure out what happened to me because um it just it just hit me so deeply um so i wrote her i wrote her an email never you know never thinking like it's it's judy bloom when you write judy bloom an email like you don't think she's really gonna write back um but the next day i had i had a a, a response in my inbox so um and you know re reading the book um does it mean something different to you reading it as an adult than, you know, when you were younger? Yes, that was actually one of the things that happened to me when I when I reread it. Um, I there were so many things that struck me when I read it as a kid. It just felt like, oh, my gosh, somebody somebody gets me. Somebody is like like has a window into my life and is like writing down everything I'm going through, which was such a relief at that age like an age where I think you can feel really isolated and like the only person who's feeling all the complicated things you're feeling um but then when I reread it as an adult what happened to me was I was so interested in the mom character and the grandma character I I'm a mom so um so you know when I read when I read it as a kid, like the parents didn't, I, I didn't register at all. It was like, they were like furniture, you know, who cares? <laughs> but, um, but as an adult, I was really interested in, in the little seeds that were laid in there. And, um, and so I wanted to, part of what, you know, what happened when I adapted it was really thinking about each of those characters. And if you lived, if, 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 if you really sort of like dug in on them, what you would find. Um, and, you know, was there any sort of trepidation about like making any, you know, significant changes or expansions or or, or like sort of doing anything to this text to to kind of adapt it for oh. the screen? <laughs> so, so much trepidation. <laughs> um, I, yeah, I mean, honestly, I, in a lot of ways, because so many people grew up with the book, it's like a Bible. I mean, it was like passed around like that. Um, when I was a kid, I mean, every, everybody read it and talked about it. Um, so, so I did feel like, I don't know, it feels like adapting a state, a sacred text, you know? So it, that was, that was really, um, uh, paralyzing at first to sit down and, and try to figure out how to, how to adapt it. But, um, but what I, what I eventually came to is, is that really my job was to deliver the spirit of the book and you know and make a film that made you feel the way Judy Bloom makes you feel even as it even as it colors outside the lines of the original text um and you know one thing that uh, uh stays the same is that the film the, the book was published in 1970 uh the film keeps the setting in 1970 uh, did you think about at any time uh bringing it to the modern day or the present day? Never, never. And actually it was, it was a good thing because, um, uh, Judy Bloom wouldn't have made it if, if we had. So, I mean, I, I came to that first meeting knowing, um, knowing very clearly I wanted to set it in 1970. First of all, just to be, you know, I, I love the book and I wanted to be as faithful to it as possible, but also for me, I, I felt like my fantasy was that girls 
and moms could and and everybody could see it today and find themselves relating to something that somebody is going through 50 years ago that they're going through today. And there's something about that that I think is really connective and sort of reassuring to know, like, you know, you're, you're not the only one. And this has been going on for generations and we're all in it together. There's something about that, that I don't know, just, um, I, I just find reassuring. Um, and, you know, you've had experience now writing uh, younger characters, Edge of Seventeen, uh, Now Are You There, God, It's Me, Margaret, um, and directing their stories. Um, is it challenging to write from that point of view? Because some, sometimes you see child characters, they're written as either little adults or it's condescending in some way, but like, you know, you managed to thread that needle. You know, I... I, I I like writing younger characters and and particularly I guess this this age in life where you're transitioning into adulthood and you're sort of I, I don't you know you just feel like you're you're figuring out who you are and um I I I have to say it's not hard for me to access like my inner adolescent like I, I don't it's probably something I should take up in therapy <laughs> but um but it's really it's like very close to the surface and so it's so it's actually like easy for me to write from that place um and also I think that like like I really feel like I I've come of age over and over again in my life like I not just at that age when I was a teenager, but you know, when I was, when I became a mom, that was like a real binary for me. That was like the most distinct before and after. And I had to really um, I, I dis rediscover myself in a lot of ways after I became a mom. Um, and yeah, any big life transition feels to me like that. Um, and, you know, how is it different, uh, an, an experience as a writer to uh, write an original script versus adapting one, especially one uh, of this, uh, of this caliber? Yeah, um, you know, I, I, I have to say, it's actually, it, 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 it's more similar than it is different, because, because the process requires you to reinvent things for the medium so it requires the same it requires the same um originality or for for you to like bring your own instincts to the writing um in the same way that you do in an original obviously you have a you have a template um but um but it feels like it's very much the same the same muscle um, and what kind of reactions have you gotten uh, to the film from fans of the book, especially uh, now that now that it's it's been out? Oh, that I mean, honestly, that's been the most exciting part um, is, you know, is, is to see how much it's been embraced. Um, it was really important to me that that people who grew up with this book felt like this really uh, was an extension of that book and felt like it really delivered the spirit of it. Um, and also it's exciting uh, to see people who have never read the book um, discovering it. Do, do you think people who haven't uh, read the book and are discovering it, do you think they're inspired to to pursue the book uh, after seeing the film? I, I've heard that a number of times, yeah, yeah. Um, and the film is produced by uh, James L. Brooks, among others. Um, you know, you've worked with him now here, uh, you know, a couple times now. Um, what's it like working with him? He, you know, of course, he has this incredibly extensive resume, um, and and you know, to to get to work with someone who of of that caliber of career. Uh, he is absolutely the best in the world. I mean, it's by the way, I like I. It's so wild to me that I. Uh, like he is the person who most influenced me and made me want to be a filmmaker and the fact that I get to work with him and learn from him and then Judy Bloom is the person who turned me into a reader and a writer so the fact that like I I got to make this film with two of I mean literally my biggest heroes um 
and they both they both like you know they say never meet your heroes but they both like you meet them and they exceed your expectations somehow um so um yeah it's been it's been really wild very surreal still <laughs> Uh, well, uh, I want to congratulate you on the film um, and uh, all the attention and, and success you uh, achieved from it. Uh, thank you so much for talking to me about it. Thank you.